Happy Wednesday. Xavier back again with another video. If you read the rant or you see the shirt, then you know what time it is. It's time to do a recap and my thoughts about last night's game between the Houston Rockets and the Toronto Raptors. I'm trying to request here, what do I want Vibe Night 27 Miami to play during West Coast Wednesday? While I'm doing that, let's do a recap of this game. So the Rockets take the first quarter scoring 23 points while the Raptors scored 19. Rockets take the second quarter scoring 32 points while the Raptors score 18. So it was Rockets 55, Raptors 37. Third quarter, it got real ugly. Rockets choked a 22 point lead scoring 14 points while the Raptors scored 34. But the Rockets made a comeback in the fourth quarter, scoring 38 points while the Raptors scored 24. Final score, Houston Rockets 107, Toronto Raptors 95. Of course, the MVP of the game is none other than the beer man himself, James Harden. Had 35 points, one rebound, and three assists. CP3 Chris Paul only had five points. Had six rebounds and ten assists. PJ Tucker had eight points, five rebounds, and three assists. They're playing Tupac Temptations right now. Eric Gordon had 13 points. Two rebounds and one assist. Clint Capella had nine points, 15 rebounds, and one assist. Austin Rivers had 13 points, four rebounds, and two assists. Gerald Green, he shot like two or three three pointers in the third quarter. He had 18 points, three rebounds, and no assists. Nene has six points, five rebounds, and one assist. And Gary Clark had no points, two rebounds, and one assist. Former San Antonio Spurs Choir Leonard had 26 points, six rebounds, and one assist. Former OKC Thunder Serge Ibaka had 10 points, 15 rebounds, and two assists. Kyle Lowry had 8 points, 6 rebounds, and 6 assists. Danny Green had 14 points, 5 rebounds, and 1 assist. <sighs> now on to my thoughts. The Rockets were killing it in the first half. They dominated the first two quarters, especially in the second. Rocks was doing good until they had to choke a 22-point lead in the third quarter. I was so frustrated that the Rockets were winning, but they had to let the Raptors catch up and take the third quarter. But I can't be mad at the Raptors. They did a good job taking the third quarter was 71 to 69 although the Rockets made a comeback in the fourth quarter so congratulations Rockets for winning last night but I'm still upset that you had to choke a damn 22 point lead in the third quarter so the Rockets now have 35 wins and 25 losses and they won six games in a row after the All-Star break. And I believe they lost 
one game. Who they lost to? The Timberwolves. No, last time they, yeah, they lost to the Timberwolves and then they lost to the Lakers. Then they won game after game between February 23rd and last night. Let's see if they can win seven in a row when they're back at home this Friday taking on the 76ers. And they have four games at home or five at home between Friday and St. Patrick's Day. Friday, they'll be taking on the 76ers. Sunday, the same day of WWE Fastlane, they take on the Mavericks. No, excuse me. They're going to be on the road in Dallas this Sunday against the Mavericks. Then, from Monday, March 11 to St. Patrick's Day, they got four games at home. Monday, March 11 against the Hornets. Next Wednesday against the Warriors. Next Friday against the Suns. And St. Patrick's Day against the Timberwolves. I'm definitely looking forward to these games. Even though I'm not going to be able to watch this Sunday's game against the Mavericks. So I may have to DVR it or download the NBA app and check how the Rockets are doing in their Sunday's game against the Mavericks. So, that's going to wrap up my rant about last night's game between the Rockets and the Raptors. Let me know what you guys think about last night's game. And what were your thoughts about the Rockets choking a 22-point lead in the third quarter? Thumbs up if you liked this video. Thumbs down if you didn't. Hit subscribe if you like the content. Click on the notification bell for the next video. I got two ramps to do tomorrow. I'm doing a gameplay of Naruto Clash of Ninja in honor of his 13th anniversary. And about a wrestling segment that aired 17 years ago on the March 7, 2002 episode of SmackDown. Don't follow your dreams. Chase them. Peace. Go Houston Rockets.